Hey everybody, um, just uh, thought I'd throw together a little video of some of uh, what I got going on uh, in my greenhouse, my little homemade greenhouse here. So it looks like I got a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of dirt on the lens. Um, so <clears throat> one of the things I decided to do this year was instead of buying actual potting mix, I'm going to make my own because of uh, so many, planting so many seeds. Uh, right now to get ready to go into the ground in a month so what I did was I bought um, garden soil which most garden soils don't have anything to retain moisture because it's made for in ground not out of ground and it doesn't always work real well if you're potting things so <clears throat> what I decided to do was buy that and uh, see I already put one bag in here yeah this is my cement mixer and uh, <clears throat> So I'm going to put that in, let it run, and uh, you know, until everything's nice and fine and the big clumps are pounded out. And then little by little, I'm going to start adding um, peat moss to my mix just to uh, give it that, uh, that moisture retention. And uh, I may even throw a handful of fertilizer in there while I'm, while I'm at it. All right, I thought I'd give you a little look at this while this uh, mixer's running. First time I've ever tried this, and uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. Um, so what I have is uh, one super large bag of uh, uh, garden soil, and then I've added uh, six large scoops of peat moss, and uh, I'm just letting it all sit here and churn and get thoroughly mixed. Wait till all the clumps are all busted up and smoothed out, and uh, then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put it into buckets and. Uh, I can set them in the greenhouse and it's there for us ready to use. Uh, you know, it starts in with all this rain that it's supposed to do while well, we'll be busy planting seeds. So, anyways, just a little shot of how that's working. A little change I made, I'll give you a, <clears throat> a shot of this. Is um, I don't know if you remember, but I have the uh, I have this. <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me this uh, thermostat here that controls my my exhaust fan so when uh, when it gets above 85 degrees in here the, uh, the fan kicks on and starts pumping air well it was like a vacuum so what I had done was I'd put a hole in near the bottom of the, uh, the greenhouse and I put a uh, vented screen in there uh, and it helped a lot but yeah, so in, you can see this year I took it to the next level and just to help pull fresh cold air in down low uh, and push the hot air up on top. Let's see if I can wiggle this out so you can see what I did here. But basically this was just your standard uh, dryer vent with the, with the louvers on it. And obviously the louvers are closed when nothing's happening. And so between the exhaust fan kicking on, and I picked up this little cooling fan that could be used in, oh, I don't know, computer towers or small electrical cabinets. Um, I cut the, uh, cut the ring that was very similar to this, one on both sides. I cut that off so that I could mount this fan on here. And uh, so now, instead of just the, uh, the cooling fan, yeah, here's a shot of what I already had. Just a standard PVC um, fitting uh, with a with a rodent screen on it. And uh, so, anyways, that's my plan. Is now I'll be able to not only <clears throat> pull air in through there because the exhaust fan is on, but I'm also has have this little fan tied right in here to the same mechanism. Here to the same <coughs> same controller, I should say. And when it hits 85 degrees, um, so both fans are going to kick on, and I think it's going to uh, it's going to be huge. So the, the, on super hot days, if you know I'm home and I'm out and stuff, um, this screen right here works super well, and just leave the door open. But um, this truck cap, being black with all this glass in here, this thing produces so much heat up high, it's just uh, it's crazy. But it's also what lets me. Uh, start things pretty early out here uh, traditionally when you know we'd still be having frost and whatnot so and sitting on my 
my hot plate down there I have a, a little heater that uh, keeps the temperature from dropping below 40. Um, you see I have a thermostat here that t that basically every 24 hours it shows you the uh, <clears throat> what the highest temperature and the what the lowest temperature was in the last 24 hours and so at some point yesterday even though the actual outside temperature only got up to about 50 it was 25 degrees hotter in here because of the glass so I got up to 75 and got down to 41 last night so anyways um, yeah just a couple little tidbits there and uh, of uh, what I got going on this spring we've got a ton of um, seed planting that we're going to do here over the next few days we've got all kinds of uh, uh, pumpkins and squash cantaloupes watermelons um, basically all of our vining type plants cucumbers you name it all that stuff's going to get pot uh, get planted so that we can you know have decent sized plants to transfer into our garden spaces here um, by the end of May uh, I already have I forgot to show you this I already have a lot of sweet bell peppers uh, these are all going to have to uh, be separated and transferred into other pots I've got beef steak tomatoes and I've got some cherry tomatoes going on here along with some experiments of uh, uh, black walnuts and butternuts in these uh, containers so all right hey that's uh, that's an update here around the farm and uh, maybe uh, if you're thinking about <clears throat> doing any of these things maybe maybe what I did will be helpful so uh, hey Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.